Seems fine to me. I do not know who it is, but that is not the captain. What evidence do you have to support your statement? Fairy intuition. That, and he no longer has a scar on his left leg. A scar? How can you be sure? When I met the captain, it was in captivity a long time ago. During that time, he was injured because of the poor conditions of the confinement. The wounds would never properly heal. It has been a reminder of our time ever since, until now. I want to keep this between the three of us. If he is a spy or a saboteur, I want to see what he's up to. Should we inform Scott? Not yet. Report. We are an estimated three hours from our destination, Captain. I have enough material to make several. When this newest bionics threat is contained, they will be coming for us, Doctor. We must be ready. I will not tolerate any more of your needless delays. Any word from- Not yet. But it's only been a couple of days, Doctor. Let's give them some time, okay? Hell's forces are breaking off. We should do the same. We're like not giving up any. We are no match for them. Nothing has changed. I'm detecting a vessel entering the system. Can you like identify anything? It is the air edition. Open a channel, maybe. Yes, ma'am. Putting it through. Erudition to the Office of Arctic Adopted. It's really good to see you guys. It's like everything okay and everything. We were captured by Lisa and her minion, Dr. Jen Bong, but we managed to escape with Scott's assistance. It's a long story. We've like got our hats full down here. We could like totally use your help. We're running on reserves up here. We've got weapons. Partial shields. No, Captain. Stand down and retreat. We'll meet you at the base. But, Captain, they are not gonna give up, so. You have your orders, Airy Edition out. I'm like really getting tired of running. I'm sure the Captain has a plan. I hope you're right. Send word to like EPA and Laura. Tell them to pull back and We're handing him over, and that's that. I won't let you do it, Captain. Excuse me? I won't just hand him over. He has proven to be trustworthy, and he is my friend. Understood. But you leave me no choice. AD, take off to the holding cell and confine her there. I'm sorry, what? This has gone on long enough. AD, restrain him. I'm sorry. Jim? We know you are not the captain. I was hoping to figure out what you were up to here, but clearly you are attempting to divide us. Clever, Ted. But how did you know? Very intuition. Get him out of here. So... Take whoever he is to the holding cell. We'll deal with him later. Right away. We've already won. You've already lost. 
You'll never get the captain back. You hear me, Ted? Never! I'm assuming command of the office. Scott, work with Tick to get the erudition to full potential. What about, like, Gallic and stuff? The Bionics will not stop until they destroy us. We destroy them, or we hand them over. Op, you've done a remarkable job here. I'm assigning you to be my acting executive officer. Thank you, sir. It's only temporary, as I'll be wanting the position back as soon as we rescue the captain. I understand. I think it's time I become acquainted with our visitors from the future. You should also talk with Gallic, maybe, before you make any final decisions. I intend to. David, is that... is that you? You look so young. What did she do to you? Mom? You... you look just like her. I don't understand. I'm not your son. I, I don't really know who I am. But I'm not your son. I'm dad. I think David's on the bridge. You must be hungry. Let's get some meat on those bones of yours. I just put a lasagna in the oven. I believe it's your favorite. With garlic toast? Of course. This would go better if you would leave the communications to our office. And paganizing them serves no one. It's just a little harmless banter. Our idea is what we do. We can't predict how these robots will take offense. Fine. One wrong word and all our attempts would have been for nothing. I said fine. You two sit tight. Make whatever repairs you can. I'm going to try to talk to them. Open communication with the lead bionics ship. Communication has been established. I am Ted of Arctic Adopted. I have assumed command and wish to discuss this situation with you. I am Oro of the Bionics. There is nothing to discuss, as I informed your envoy my position cannot be changed. There must be some common ground we can work upon. If you would just speak cut the channel, the Bionic ships are powering weapons and engines. They're making their moves, sir. Battle stations. Inform Scott to ready the erudition. He's out of time. The office must not be destroyed. I am aware of this, however, I was assured and this deep. Our capacity to protect you has been compromised. I will not go back. I understand. You should prepare yourself in case no other compromise can be reached. This office, above everything, must survive. I will consider what you have said. Have you had any success with your attempts to hack the Bionics machines? I am attempting to utilize their connection to the Earth mainframe core to gain access. I have needed an operations. Let us know if you have success. The priority is disabling shields, weapons, and engines. I understand. Two, five, seven. Switch to conventional weapons. I keep us in the air. I'm trying. The Pixie forces have lost three more vessels. Those vessels are falling back. DTA ships aren't doing any better. The air edition is attempting to contact us. Put it up. Galak has managed to infiltrate the Bionics computer system. We just have to hang on for a few more minutes. What about, like, a cop? I mean... Sorry to interrupt. Wow. But, like, what if we copy this program? Oro can have access to one, and we can keep the original here with us, kind of. Tick, what do you think? Fascinating. Such a proposition has never been proposed, and certainly never been. I can do it. I've been tinkering with Tick's program long enough. I'm sure I can pull it off, sir. It's basically the transfer while retaining the original file. 
I believe it is worth a try. I'm not really sure I'm comfortable with this idea. We would be condemning a second program. If nothing else, it could buy us a little time. Whatever you're doing, you better do it fast. All right, I'll propose it. Galak should be made aware. Have him continue his efforts in case we are not successful. Understood. Very addition out. I have managed to remain undated. Breaking through to main systems has proved more challenging. We have composed a compromise that you should be made aware of. We believe we can copy your program and offer the duplicate to Oro. That has never been attempted before. I am aware of that, but Scott believes he will be successful with the duplication. We would be condemning an innocent and new program to possible decomposition because of my, the original's, rights. One program would remain here. If we continue this game, your original program, you, will be destroyed, along with us. I am unable to come to a conclusion and will leave the decision to your office. I trust you to do what's best. I will inform the others. Continue attempting to disable the bionics vessels in case Oro declines our proposal. There will be no compromise. Give me Gallup or I will destroy you. We won't do that. We're like very confident we can do it. Why won't you even consider it? At this point, you have pushed the tolerance limits of my program. If you will not give me Gallup, then you leave me no other choice. Excuse the interruption. We have been monitored. Sir, if I may. By all means. I am Tink of the Bionics High Command. Did he, like, just say High Command? I have been assigned to this office at this time because the High Command believes this time period to be instrumental in the future we come from. I am sending you an encrypted data file and suggest that you read it. Please stand by. Why are you only revealing this, like, now and stuff? I did not want to reveal myself as my orders remain highly classified. However, with few options remaining, I have determined revealing myself at this time to be worth the risk. Thank you for holding. I have reviewed the information contained within the data file you sent. As a direct result, I have decided a compromise to be in the best interest of all parties. You must understand that the information you now possess is highly classified and cannot be shared with any other. Of course, I understand. The information has already been restricted behind password and encryption. My acceptance of your proposal to duplicate Gallic has one non-negotiable condition. The program Gallic cannot be permitted to remain formless. To this end, we will provide a new form for him to utilize. You just happen to, like, have unused forms laying around and stuff? No, of course not. But he may inhabit this form you see now. I grow tired of we accept your terms. The contract has been finalized. My fleet will stand down and retreat to your moon. When you are ready to duplicate Gallic, contact us. Stand down and pull back, and inform our allies to do the same. You have done a fantastic job, Om. You are natural. I'm going to recommend you for promotion when all this is over. Right now, our first priority is to make repairs and get back out there to look for the captain. Any luck, like, getting answers from his doppelganger or anything? So far, he's just issued a bunch of empty threats. I'm hoping his demeanor changes over time. What about Dev? What's the deal with him and stuff? I'm honestly not sure think he's just an innocent kid caught up in a bad situation. Arky has taken to him, and that says a lot. 
I understand, I think. I almost forgot why I, like, came in here and stuff, but, like, Admiral Donovan would like to talk with you. I've already answered your questions, Captain. I don't want any of them. You're crazy, Lisa. You hear me? Crazy! Whatever you're up to, it won't work. My crew will find me and make you pay for what you're doing to me. Would it surprise you to know, Captain, that I am actually considering switching sides? I'm serious. The Pixie has grown volatile and I fear for my life. If I commit to helping you, you must take me with you. If you help me get out of here, Doctor, I'll take you to China and buy you dinner. I will, of course, require certain guarantees. I'm listening. 